Awara, Southern Taranaki, a town best known for the Great Fire of 1884, the Great Hawara Fire of 1912, the water tower they built in response to the fires, and the Great Hawara Water Tower Fire of 1915. But they rebuilt, and not much happened in Hawara for the next 100 years until just before Christmas, when this tight-knit community was rocked by accusations of racism. The controversy started when photos emerged of the Hawara Lions Club parade float, which featured its members doing blackface. The scandal quickly drew national media attention. The controversial costumes and blackface makeup have been widely criticised. Apori and Moana eat their blackface. It's a symbol of racism and it's a no-no. Blackface originates from minstrel shows, a racist form of entertainment where white performers would black up to belittle, stereotype and mock people of African descent. These guys have got to understand that that's, that shit is unacceptable, eh? Any attempt by the Lions Club to defend themselves only seemed to make the situation worse. So we paint our faces. What's wrong with that? There Some of... small-minded, bigoted person has called us racist. The local Māori are, are questioning the actions. What, what's he, what do you oh, think? Oh, for about... God's sake, why? Because worry... we're out in the community doing something for the community? They'd done something for the community, all right. They'd torn it apart. Was Howard a racist? It was my job to find out what was going on in this troubled metropolis. Last year, there was a big story coming out of Howard. Oh, <laughs> the gollywog people, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Is it funny? Yeah, I find it hilarious. So last year, Howard had a Christmas parade. The black face. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you always laughing after you say this stuff? There was massive backlash. <laughs> what did you think of the, of the black face parade? I love the black fucking Facing all the black pros. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, my, I feel my, look, 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 Okay, he's saying come up. Were you offended by the black Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't really know what you're talking about, but it uh, sounds pretty First cool. It's a pretty cool happy. subject. It doesn't sound pretty cool. Who was it? It was the Howard Lions Club. I am the blackest face of the Howard. I have got the heart of a lion. Before you hear my roar, you will probably touch or feel my paw. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got me? Yeah, I like that little giggle. Gotcha, yeah, high fives. <laughs> the bottom line is, horror is a great place just to be. And I've been here for two minutes and I've loved it. Stick around. Yeah. We want to have adopt you. Oh, it's so beautiful. What I grew up knowing when I was a little black ass nigger, the world needs love. This Taranaki nigger in Hawara has got Please nothing. stop saying the N word, I can't. I don't want to say the N word. Can, Can you read it, please? It, it, it says the N-word, literally there on your back. Do something for me. OK. Keep smiling, keep passing the message that we care, we love. Mary Lynn, you're the one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. You're like the new Jesus or something. <laughs> no, he's my best friend. Jesus is your best friend? He's been my friend all my life. I found Hawara to be a wonderful place, if not a little misguided. If I painted my face black, that just means that I'm in tune with the black people. No, no, no. Despite the veil of racist allegations that had been draped over the town, it appeared the locals hadn't learned their lesson, but had the Lions Club. I headed straight into the lion's den to confront the organisers who had created the blackface parade. Hi, how's it going? I'm doing a, um, a story about the Howarder blackface. Don't talk to me, we out there. My bloody best friends are freaking Maori, so we're not, none of us are racist. It's ridiculous. Anyway, go and see some Yeah, sorry. I want nothing to do with it. You it's... guys have been told to stay away. Oh, how's yeah. it going? Nice to see you, so I'll come talk to you. It's Guy Williams here. How's it going from the television? You'll call the police? They said no comment, so I went to the local council to find out if they had any comments. Nice to meet you, my name's Guy. We're covering the blackface story. Yeah, I've, and think, yeah, I've seen your show, I probably yeah, right. think you're probably going to take the piss out of the town. Take the piss a little bit, but not much. The local council told me to fuck off. It seemed Howard was too relaxed to care about the incident, but too uptight to talk about it. In a last ditch effort to make sense of it all, I turned to the only person in authority who would talk to me, outspoken district councillor from New Plymouth, Murray Chong. The media took a totally wrong angle for it. How'd they take the wrong angle? It was about bringing people together. So they had people in white suits, and they had the black faces, and they were singing Michael Jackson's song, It Doesn't Matter If You're Black and White. It actually promoted, doesn't matter what colour, how you dress, whatever. When you started that story, I was struggling not to crack up laughing because we talked about the Michael Jackson element. Doesn't matter if you. Yeah, I, 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 
I can understand why the parade was blown out of proportion. But I also want to get across to people like you to go, hey, can you see why blackface could be hurtful? Imagine if everything about being white was being lazy or being a criminal or being a drug dealer, you know? First media never said that they were playing that song. I don't know if the song fixes the situation. Well, the media perceived it as the wrong message because they didn't actually know about the song. How are you a city councillor, by the way? <laughs> Thank you for telling me about the Michael Jackson element. I'm not sure if that makes it better or much, much worse. <laughs> like they didn't have kids on the float then. But <laughs> you can't please all the people all of the time. Well, in this case, they please none of the people any of the time. Didn't worry me. Murray was a bit of a dipshit, but through his dipshittery, he inadvertently taught me a lesson. Even if Harwater didn't mean to be racist, they suffered from a lack of understanding. Something me coming to town to mock them about certainly wasn't helping. I needed advice, so I turned to Jesus. Sis's best friend, Mary Lynn. So I feel like I've stuffed up here. I've come here with bad intentions. I've come here to make a comedy program and to exploit Harwater's problem. You have? Yeah. And what are you actually getting out of it? Two to three thousand dollars. Forget your money. Okay. What's your emotional payback? Come here, laugh at some people in Harwater, leave. Do you have the right to do that? I did a six month comedy diploma in um, Tauranga School for the Performing Arts and Comedy. Yeah. yeah. So I've got like a diploma, a, 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 like a certificate. But again, what gives you the right? Diploma in comedy. No, I no, that. forget the diploma. I was actually lying about the diploma. I didn't, I didn't actually have a diploma. I printed that off the internet. What you have just said is saying, this is the authentic me. You're not a fraud guy. Well, I am a fraud. I literally you, did you, some fraud. OK, you frauded that. I'm probably going to face a lawsuit from the Tauranga New Zealand School of Comedy. You've got to stand up and be authentic. That's what I do, stand up comedy. That's my job. No, no, I'm not talking about... You want me to do a gig? No, here I'm... Here in not... Howard, I'm mocking the people of Howard. No, I'm talking about stand up and be authentic. OK. Show New Zealand we're not just this parade. We're bigger than that. We need to do a bigger parade. No, we need to show people that that we can was do a, we, a we, bigger we, parade. We no, we we are. That is an incident. Yes. But it's not the whole. It's what, not the whole parade. It's not the whole parade. I'm going to go out there and organise a new parade that's hopefully bigger and better and less racist than any parade that Harwood has ever done. A parade that says this is. Maryland was right. I had to redo the parade to restore the reputation of Hawada and hopefully restore the reputation of me. I invited the Lions Club. I am going to do a second um, parade. Would the Lions Club like to be part of that or no thanks? But they weren't keen. Neither were the council, which meant we were going to have to hold the parade on private property. I didn't know what to do, but standing in the car park of our motel, I came up with the perfect venue, the car park of our motel. The Furlong, who agreed to let us use it for free, with no promotion or integration required. I had a great venue, with great rooms at an affordable price. Wow! But I still needed almost every other aspect of a parade. I'm doing a parade tomorrow. It's the first annual Harwater non-racist mid-year Christmas parade, held in April. What do you think? I love it, it's good. Between 12, 30 and 1, you gonna come along? Oh, I can't guarantee it. If you don't come, you're racist. OK, but I'll be there. You gonna come check it out? Oh, if I'm not too hungover from my spot. And you can be in the parade. Do you want to be in the parade? Can we do burnouts? Yeah. <laughs> you keen? Yeah, that's Yeah, all right, me. let's do it. All right, see you tomorrow, then. Don't get too hungover at blind spot, OK? Oh, no, I'll get too drunk, but I'll just have heaps of parades. Excuse me, sir, are you keen to be in a parade? No, not really. We need a Santa Claus. Nah, I've already got that job, thanks. <laughs> Is this for real? Yeah. Can I fucking join in? Yeah, yeah, you can join in. Can I paint my face white? Uh -huh. The people were keen, and I spread the word far and wide. Here and here. I'm definitely going to pick those up. I'd done everything I could to restore my reputation. It was now up to the people of Hawada to make this parade happen and banish the demons of the blackface incident forever. But on the morning of the parade, no one had shown up. And that's when I prayed to Jesus, his best friend, Mary Lynn, who sent an angel of hope. Thanks for coming along, mate. What are you up to? Oh, I'm just pushing him. You're pushing a dog? Yeah, I'm doing wheelies with my dog. It's very good. A small boy 
humbly pushing a dog in a pram. I think this is going to be the best parade Harwood has ever seen. Then slowly, but surely, they came. Whoa, look at this. Come over here, guys. Out of the way, pram dog kid. You've been replaced. There's off the hook. You having a good time? What's your job, mate? What are you doing here? Uh, picking up the shit. Oh, good on you. Yeah. I do clown work, so... Are you the local clown? Yeah, everything. Have you forgotten your costume today? No, uh, yeah, no, I didn't think to bring it. You didn't think a parade would need a clown? Yeah. Can you go on the parade anyway, just as yourself? Yeah, probably. Kids, are you excited for a parade? Yes. You excited for a parade, mate? Yes. Well, I'm worried this is going to be very disappointing for the kids. Yeah, yeah, I think it will be. Why do you think it... Oh, no, it just looks dumb. Despite some incredibly blunt criticisms, it was time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first annual Howarder Non-Racist Mid-Year Christmas Parade. Hurrah! <laughs> Say no to racism! No to racism! Say yes to doing parades in car parks outside discount motels! <laughs> and thus began the best and least racist parade that Howarder had ever seen. It had it all. Horses, a pipe band, a tractor, a girl on a bike, child acrobats, a clown who'd forgotten his clown outfit, a woman holding a baby and walking a dog, a tribute to Howarder's proud whaling traditions, another tractor, and whatever the fuck that is. I just wish that Mary Lynn could have been there to see it. She's not dead, she was just busy that day. With the power of the people of Howarder, we had done it. We had lifted the veil hanging over the town and defeated racism once and for all. This is who we are, Harwater. We're the greatest city in the world. What? We're the greatest town in the world. Sorry, stop throwing lollies in there. It hurts. Stop you. My work was done. It was time to leave Harwater, but not before a quick word from our sponsor. Guy Williams, New Zealand Today.